A pleasant good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Turfway Park Racing and Gaming, our Saturday opener in about 28 minutes at 5.55. Nine races this evening. Our seventh race is a pretty good one, fans. It's the $125,000 Prairie Bayou Stakes. $125,000 guaranteed. It's the 28th running of the Prairie Bayou. One mile and one sixteenth for three-year-olds and up. Couple of Jeff Ruby champions. Six other stellar performers. A few scratches, but the race is still pretty salty. It's our Saturday feature with an approximate post time of 8.55. Let's open up our programs. Here are tonight's changes. In the opener, scratch number nine, grab the money. Our Saturday opener, scratching nine, grab the money. Six, this all defend has an additional workout. 9th of December, Turfway Park, fast track, half mile, 49 and four fifths, breezing. And there they go. And it's a slow start for Celtic Mischief and Senior Joe Beam not that quickly away. He is in front of one runner. He's about seven lengths from the pace. And it's Concord and Alpine Ghost who are quickly away. Joe Phillips is there with Randello, four gun for the lead. Clearing Waivers is right alongside of Guard. They're about two and a half off the pace. Clearing Waivers making a move into the fifth position. After him, it's Senior Joe Beam with Captain Mad Jack. This I'll defend is second last, and the early trailer is Celtic Mischief. Alpine Ghost at a big number, gets the lead through the turn, opens up a length and a half. Clearing Waivers is making a move for second, currently held by Concord. Randello's under a drive from the fourth spot. Senior Joe Beam's hitting his best drive from the outside. Joe Phillips has a little bit of a look along the inside. Joe Phillips looks like he could be one of the players. There's a big opening along the rail. And here comes Joe Phillips clearing waivers. Also there, Concord. And to the far outside, Senior Joe Beam putting in his best stride. In the meantime, Concord has come away with the lead. Senior Joe Beam, the salty veteran, trying to reel him in in the final 16th. Concord and Senior Joe Beam conquered conquered wins the opener senior joe beam second and clearing waivers and checking in fourth this i'll defend number four conquered a 13 to one shot in the opener to senior joe beam not the quickest start once again four consecutive races a little slowly away it had to cost him the victory for conquered as the unofficial winner in an upset to Senior Joe Beam, second. Third place, eight, clearing waivers. Fourth place, sixth, this I'll defend. Four, two, eight, six. The top four finishers on the board. Race one is still unofficial. Make sure to hold all tickets until results have been declared official. Entering the winner's circle is number four, Concord, his third career victory, a three-year-old dark bear brown gelding by Greeley's Conquest out of the Harlan's Holiday Mare. Yippee. Owned and trained by Daniel H. Winning a jockey is Walter Rodriguez. Winner was bred in Indiana by James McInvale. Exacta $80.42. Trifecta $90.12. 10 cent super $219.04. Dollar super $2,190. About 40 cents. $2,190.48 for that dollar super. Tonight's second race will begin the early pick for Julio Felix, new jockey number two, Gun Rush. Both three and four carry two pounds over the weight. Authoritarian and Faithful King, three and four both carrying two pounds over. Six English Challenge with an additional workout. 9th of December here at Turfway Park, a half mile move, 49 and two fifths, breezy. The second race starting the early pick four, 23 minutes away at 625. And there they go. Slow start for English Challenge. Gunrush with a swift start. He claims the early lead. Authoritarians in the second spot. Nordic Light comes away in third. Then Faithful King, he races with Call me Gusto, Nicholas Jones to the far outside, Wind Twist to his inside, here's the gray Count Frost, an English challenge who was away a little slowly as the last of all, and Gunrush began the best and he makes the lead pretty easily from authoritarian, it's a length and a half advantage. Nordic Light is third along the inside, Call me Gusto is about two and a half off the pace, a little less than two lengths. 
to Faithful King. He's isolated in the fifth position, two and a half to Count Frost, flanked by Nicholas Jones. English challenge second last, and Wind Twist is the last of all. And the opening quarter in a casual 25 and two, so Gun Rush is allowed to make the pace pretty comfortably. Nordic Lights recognizing this soft pace, and he's trying to inch a little closer. Authoritarian from between runners, and Call Me Gusto three deep with the Red Silks, and he's a little less than three off the lead. The lead still belongs to Gunrush. Gunrush is the one to beat at the quarter pole. Nordic Lights is closest pursuer. Call Me Gusto is third. The others have a lot of work to do. Gunrush, Nordic Light under a strong drive. Call Me Gusto is third. And Count Frost makes a move for the fourth position. Nicholas Jones to the far outside, then English Challenge. Gunrush and Nordic Light. Looks like these are the two at the eighth pole. Gunrush still keeps his lead. Nordic Light has two lengths to make up. Gunrush isn't slowing down. He went slowly early, and they are all, they are all paying the price late. It is a Gunrush. Gunrush all the way. Nordic Light was second, then Count Frost. Fourth and fifth involves Nicholas Jones and English Challenge. Under Julio Felix. 144 and 30, 100. It's got away with some soft fractions. That opening quarter really soft, and nobody wanted to step up to Gun Rush. So they paid for it. Gun Rush, a wire to wire winner. One Nordic Light. He was the only one that had a look throughout. Second best. About the five, Count Frost at a huge number for third. Fourth place, nine, Nicholas Jones. 144 and 30, 100s from the second race. Hold all tickets. There's a horse on a roll of late. That is a six out of seven. Heck of a claim. $7,500 back in early March. Four-year-old Dark Bear Brown Gelding is seventh overall. He's by Violence out of the Sky Mesa Mare Mile High Butterfly. by Thomas Baszler, along with Dennis Pohl. The winning trainer is James Watkins, and the winning jockey is Julio Felix. Different racehorse since those blinkers went on. Here's a Kentucky bred by Two Hearts Farm LLC, along with Mike Kogan. 10 cents super, $200, four cents. Dollar superfecta, $2,000, 46 cents. Two one exact of forty nine dollars twenty six cents. Two one five trifecta two hundred twenty eight dollars seventy eight cents. Early double four two for a buck sixty dollars seventy five cents. Third race offers a double and a mid pick three scratch nine page perfect. Also scratch number fourteen the Thunderer. Thirteen draws in off the also eligible list. Post time in about twenty two minutes at six fifty five. And there they go. Red Cheeks hustled along from the inside. Young, Dumb, and Broke is also showing some pace. Winger strides into the third spot. Night Chant is fourth against the rail. Then exemplified, Cote d'Ivoire. Gabby's on holiday from the far outside. Cactus Kevin along the rail. Red Cheeks quickly away from the inside post has the lead. About two lengths, maybe a length and a half. Young, Dumb, and Broke follows the leader from the second spot. And into third from the inside is Night Chant. Winger is also up close to the action. Exemplified splits them. Cactus Kevin along the rail. Four lengths off the lead. Gabby's on holiday from the far outside. Cote d'Ivoire's in the two path. A length and a half to Neap Tide. American Raider is second last. And my brother Keith is the last of all. And Red Cheek still has the lead to himself a length and a half. Young Dumb and Broke continues to pursue the pace from second. Along the inside races Night Chant. Winger from the far outside exemplified from between runners. Cactus Kevin still about four or five off the lead. There goes Gabby's on holiday. Gabby's on holiday trying to pick up his stride. And after him from the far outside races my brother Keith. In fact, my brother Keith's gone right on by. Gabby's on holiday. And here comes my brother Keith with this circling move to the far outside. Red Cheeks, plenty of pursuers. Exemplified's on the attack. My brother Keith has continued with this powerful run to the far outside. And here is my brother Keith. My brother Keith has come away with the lead. Exemplified is quickening with him. And these two face off near the 16th. Exemplified. And my brother Keith. Exemplified along the inside. My brother Keith. Who wants it more? 
tight. My brother Keith or exemplified. American Raider was third. And fourth place goes to Cote d'Ivoire. Then exemplified. My brother Keith with a pretty solid bob right on the line. 145 and 71 hundredths. Photo will determine the winner. Thirteen, my brother Keith, first. Second place, ten, exemplified. Third place, six, American Raider. Fourth place, number seven, Cote d'Ivoire. Thirteen, my brother Keith. A four-year-old of Bay Gelding by Arrogate out of the Cadiennes Mare, Last Kitten. Owned and trained by Linda Rice, winning jockey, Declan Cannon. My brother Keith was bred in Kentucky by Kenneth and Sarah Ramsey. Exact of $77.10, trifecta $99.48. Dollar double, 213, $31.75. Ten cent super, $184 and a penny. Dollar super, $1,840.17. 4213 pick three, $213.24, the early pick three. The consolation 423, $35.44. Coming out of the track for tonight's fourth race, a six furlong affair, three year olds and up, now winners of two races. Claimers 50,000 down to 40,000. Scratch eight talks cheap. Five hour dream ride, two pounds over. First leg of the 20 cent single six jackpot. Carry over a little shy of $14,000, a little shy of $10,000 of new money. The fourth in about nine minutes. And there they go. Pretty good start for all. Burning Ash is quickly away. Libertango wants to show pace. Clear the air and Cowboy Image. Pick it up as a team. Clear the air outside of Cowboy Image. Sheriff Ronnie makes a move into third inside of Libertango. Burning Ash broke very aggressively. Now he's in the fifth position. A little more than three and a half off the lead. Two and a half lengths to our dream ride inside of Gamer. Clear the air. He has been hammered down to six to five, and he leads heading into the turn. He zips along through a 21 and four opening quarter. He leads by better than two lengths to Sheriff Ronnie. Libertango, three lengths from the front. Cowboy Image has a good four and a half to make up on the leader than Burnin Ash Gamer. Our dream ride tries to close in along the inside. They need to step up to clear the air. He is traveling smoothly at the quarter pole. Come and beat him for all the money. Clear the air means business this evening. He opens up. In the second spot is Cowboy Image. Then we're going to burn an ash up the inside races. Our dream ride, but there were no threats throughout the running of the fourth to clear the air. And he put a big space between him and his rivals. Clear the air, a powerful gate to wire winner. Good looking individual named Clear the Air. Cowboy Image was second, then our dream ride. Burn an ash for the Superfecta. Good looking individual, clear the air. Look at that race source time. One minute nine and 27 one hundredths. One cowboy image checks in second, third place, five hour dream ride. Fourth place, number three, burn and ash, 2153, 2153 unofficially in the fourth. Entering the winner's circle is number two, clear the air. The impressive winner of tonight's fourth race, a three-year-old to bake hold by Ransom the Moon out of the More Than Ready Mare, Marzali, by Cypress Creek Equide. Will Walden is the winning a trader, winning jockey, Abel Zadio. Winner was bred in Kentucky by Calumet Farm. And tonight's fourth race is official. 2153, a top four finishers, exact a $67.48, trifecta $62.58. Dollar double, fifteen dollars twenty-two cents. Thirteen two, the winning combination. Ten cent super, forty-eight dollars ninety cents. Dollar super, four hundred eighty-nine dollars five cents. Two three two, pick three, thirty-three dollars forty-eight cents. Two three two, consolation, six dollars fifty-two cents. That must have been a two thirteen two for that other pick three. I'll clarify those pick threes here in just a second.
two, thirteen two, thirty-three dollars forty-eight cents. Consolation two, three two, six dollars fifty-two cents. Fifth race named in honor of Professional Sealants Incorporated. Folks, thank you for spending your Saturday here at Turfway Park Racing and Gaming. Scratch both of the also eligibles for the fifth, 13 and 14, Boyne Valley, Parlay Charlie, 12, Madame Leota, one pound over. Race five will start our late pick five, post time in 22 minutes at eight o'clock. And there they go. Towards the tail of the field is Chiquito Reina. Frolicking ladies, one of the first to show up and also showing some pace there is Route 66. And from the inside races Caladium. Celis is forwardly positioned along with Vondra. And from the outside there races Golden Lake. Here comes Tamborella advancing into the leading flight. So we'll stick with this group. A frolicking lady has the lead. Route 66 is pressing. Celis is there. Vondra is pushing four wide. Tamborella had to slam on the brakes. Golden Lake has about three lengths to make up midway through the turn. After her races Caladium. Caladium is about a good six or seven from the front. And to the far outside, there is Madame Leota. Up the inside, she's splendid. Chiquita Reina's trying to close in. Unmatched along the inside, Route 66 and Ticket to Flyer at the back. And Fondra meant business. Fondra has the lead. Fondra's the leader. And she gets away past the eighth pole. Fondra has the lead, chasing her as Tamborella. To the extreme outside races, a Chiquita Reina. She's splendid, makes a move for second, but it's all about Fondra, a dominating winner. She's splendid, a second. Checking in third, Tamborella. Maybe Caladium for the fourth spot. After her, Chiquita Reina and Madame Leota. 10 Fondra is the unofficial winner. That's another one for Declan Cannon. 112 and 35, 100 the final time. Second place to the one, she's splendid. Third place, eight, Tamborella. Fourth place, number two, Caladium. 10 1 8 2 in tonight's fifth. Number 10, Fondra is in the winner's circle, a two year old of Bay Philly by De Marjolaire out of the Kodiak Mare, Melting Point, owned by Berkshire Stud. Winning trainer is Arnaud Delacour and the winning jockey, Declan Cannon. That's a double for Declan. The winner was bred in Kentucky by owners Berkshire Stud. And tonight's fifth race was named in honor of Professional Sealants Incorporated. Folks, thank you for spending your Saturday evening here at Turfway Park Racing and Gaming. Sure hope you're having a great time. $160.38 for the early pick four, 10 cent super, $496.71. 13 to 10, consolation pick three, $29.02. Early pick five, $2,431.39. Four out of five, $21.03. 10 1 exacta from the fifth, $74.86. 10 1 8 trifecta, $452.79. Missed that double. Dollar Super, $4,967.12. 13 to 10, pick three, $29.10. Guess it wasn't a consolation version. All right, $21.03 for four out of five. $210, dollar double, $8.08. Race six starts our late pick four and overweight number three, Coach Petro, two pounds over the weight. Race six, 23 minutes away at 8.30. And there they go. As one does is showing good speed, not as quick as Kid Marvelous, who was expected to make the pace. As one does, though, right there with him. In the third spot is Harbor Bridge. Real Naughty's fourth. From the outside is Elegant Trip. Following them, Photo Op with Coach Petro. Just in front of Photo Op is Coach Petro, along with Tis Wicked Strong and Collier's Time. So it is Kid Marvelous with the lead. Kid Marvelous flanked by As One Does. And they share the top spot. Kid Marvelous, a narrow lead. To the outside, As One Does. Harbor Bridge is third. Real Naughty's fourth. Elegant Trip, three wide. Tis Wicked Strong from between runners. Collier's time has a little more than five and a half for six lengths to make up on the two leaders up the backstretch run. 
about three and a half or four. Back to Coach Petro. And photo op is at the back. Kid Marvelous, as one does, they remain one, two. Elegant Trip pursues from third. Real Naughty tries to progress along the rail. Tis Wicked Strong from between runners Harbor Bridge. And Collier's Time, Collier's Time advancing. Harbor Bridge looks like he's calling it an early night. Here comes Collier's Time with his run. Kid Marvelous, as one does. Elegant Trip, Collier's Time to the outside. He looks like one of the runners. Here he comes with a big fluid stride to the extreme outside. Tis Wicked Strong's trying to gear up. As one does, was in very tight. It is Collier's Time who has come away with the lead. Kid Marvelous still has a little bit of fight. Collier's Time, Kid Marvelous, Tis Wicked Strong. Collier's Time and Tis Wicked Strong, these are the two. Collier's Time at the eighth pole trying to see it through. Has a healthy enough lead approaching the 16th. Tis Wicked Strong has solidified second. Collier's Time, much the best winner. Tis Wicked Strong with second, elegant trip third. Right there with him, photo op, then Coach Petro. Nine Collier's time, the unofficial winner, a much the best winner from tonight's sixth. Five tis wicked strong second, third and fourth requiring a photo. The final running time, 143 and 62 one hundredths. Make sure to hold all tickets. Entering the winner's circle is number nine Collier's time. Seventh look is a winning look for this three-year-old chestnut gelding by Klimt out of the Sky Mesa mare, Kiana's Dream by Estate of Bob Lothenbach. Ian Wilkes is the winning trader, the winning jockey, and Joe Talamo. And it was bred in Kentucky by Elaine McPherson. Exact at $31.94, trifecta $22.19, $1.10.9 daily, double $20.54. 10 cents Superfecta, $56.97. Dollar Superfecta, $569.73. 2109, 50 cent pick three, $26.35. Up next is our Saturday featured event, the 28th running of the Prairie Bayou Stakes. $125,000 guaranteed. One mile and one sixteenth, three year olds and up. Scratches for the following three temples, six runaway storm, 10 war bomber, 11 packs of wallop, and both of the also eligibles, 13 and 14, fair dinkum and vintage print. Three, six, 10, 11, 13, and 14, all scratch from the Prairie Bayou, which will begin our late pick three post time in 22 minutes at nine o'clock. The horses are coming onto the track for the Saturday featured event, the 28th running of the Prairie Bayou, $125,000 guaranteed, one mile and one sixteenth for three-year-olds and up. Three, six, 10, 11, 13, and 14 have all been scratched. This race will start our late pick three and post time in about eight minutes. Let's meet the group beginning with number one, Like the King, the 2021 Jeff Ruby champion. He is owned by Emma Racing Group LLC, conditioned by Mark Cassie. The jockey is Fernando de la Cruz. Next will be number two, Ocean Atlantique, owned by Three Diamonds Farm. Mike Baker is the trainer. The jockey, Luan Machado. Scratch the three, onto the four, Tis the Bomb, the 2022 Jeff Ruby champion. He is owned by Brookdale Racing Incorporated, conditioned by Kenny McPeak. Joe Talamo in the irons. Five is Hush of a Storm. Owned by Joseph P. Mori Jr. Revocable Trust. His trader is Will, William E. Mori, and the jockey is Geraldo Corrales. Scratch the six, seven is Wolfie's Dyna Ghost. He's owned by Woods Lane Farm, conditioned by Jonathan Thomas. Tyler Connor in the irons. Eight is Kito Dan, owned by Foster Family Racing, Douglas Miller, and William Warjel. Eric Foster, the trainer. Alex Ashard is the pilot. Number nine is Calumet Farms Cellist. Conditioned by Rusty Arnold, Martin Garcia has the assignment. 10 and 11 scratched. 12, leave it to Kitten. Owned by AFM Stables Limited. Conditioned by Kathy Jarvis. In the irons, Joe Ramos. 13 and 14, also scratched. A field of eight in the 28th running of the Prairie Bayou Stakes. $125,000 guaranteed. Our Saturday featured event in about seven minutes. And there they go in the 28th running of the Prairie Bayou Stakes. And the favorite, Wolfie's Dyna Ghost, is straight to the front. Like the King is showing pace from the inside. Leave it to Kitten third with Ocean Atlantique. Hush of a Storm races with Cellist. Tis the Bomb and Kitto Dan are the last two. 
And it is Wolfie's Dynaghost at four to five, establishing the lead immediately out of the starting gate. Ocean Atlantiques into the second spot, and Light the King is third. And Hush of a Storm has the fourth position, a little less than four lengths from the front with the green silks. Two and a half to leave it to Kitten, similar margin to Cellist. Another length and a half to Tiz the Bomb, and Kitto Dan can see them all as they race to the five eights. The opening quarter in 24 seconds. Wolfie's Dynaghost and Tyler Connor dictating the terms better than two lengths to Ocean Atlantique. Hush of a Storm gets a little closer from the outside. Like the King right there with him. He's in the fourth spot, and he has three lengths to make up the half. One in 47 and one-fifth. Cellist is hitting his best stride. Here comes Cellist. He has about six lengths to make up on Wolfie's Dynagos, who has been unchallenged throughout, and he's the one to reel in. Leave it to Kittens under pressure. Tis the Bomb is under a drive. Kitto Dan has trailed throughout, and it is Wolfie's Dynagos who has led the entire trip. Hush of a Storm comes with his run. And Cellist continues to improve his position, but they all need to step up to Wolfie's Dynaghost to win the Prairie Bayou. Wolfie's Dynaghost has led the entire trip, and he still is clear at the eighth pole. Hush of a Storm's running a good one. Cellist is launching his big charge. It's Wolfie's Dynaghost. Cellist is coming with a big run. Wolfie's Dynaghost and Cellist. Wolfie's Dynaghost and Cellist. Wolfie's Dynaghost and Cellist. 1-2 under the line, looked like Wolfie's Dynagos. Cellist was coming quickly, then Hush of a Storm. Wolfie's Dynagos and Cellist in a photo finish in the 28th running of the Prairie Bayou Stakes. The entire trip, Cellist, the runner-up in the 2022 Prairie Bayou. Boy, he put in a huge run at a big price. The final running time is 143 and 51 one hundredths. Stand by for the results of the photo. Entering the winner's circle is number seven, Wolfie's Dynaghost. His 10th career victory. He's a five-year-old Abbe Gelding by Ghost Zapper. Out of the dam, Dynaer. Owned by Woods Lane Farm. Winning a trainer is Jonathan Thomas. The winning jockey is Tyler Connor. Winner was bred in Kentucky by his owner, Woods Lane Farm. Directing your attention to the winner's circle with the trophy presentation for the Prairie Bayou Stakes is Mr. Chip Bach, our general manager here at Turfway Park Racing and Gaming. Big congratulations to Woods Lane Farms. Wolfie's Dynaghost, impressive once again over the Tapita here at Turfway Park. 10 cent super, $22.67. Dollar super, $226.74. 1097 pick three, $35.31. 79 exact at $27.42. 795 trifecta, $26.27. Dollar double, 97, $6.04. Couple more races to go on the Saturday card. Race eight is a very nice allowance race. It will begin a late daily double, our late daily double. Scratches five, seven, and eight. Good as I once was. Happy hour, Bobby and Hocus. And Storm Daddy, two pounds over. 11 loyal company races with laces. Ready for action. And there they go. Gaslight Dancer quickly into stride. Storm Daddy's also showing good pace with Talking Cash and City Fever. Oil Company from the outside. JP Race from the rail. Embrace is third last. Bourbon High second last. Broken Rib is the last of nine. Storm Daddy and Talking Cash, they vie for the top spot. City Fever ideally situated. Look at the trip he's getting. Two and a half behind the dueling leaders. It's better than three to JP Race with Gaslight Dancer. Another length to Loyal Company from the far outside. Better than four lengths to Embrace and Broken Rib. And Bourbon Heist is now at the back marker. Here's Talking Cash making his move for the lead. To his outside remains Storm Daddy. It's been a beautiful trip for City Fever. Can he cash in? JP Race is fourth. Loyal Company's hitting his best stride. Here comes Loyal Company pinning his ears back, and he's coming with a menacing rally. Talking Cash, Storm Daddy, City Fever, Loyal Company tries to close in from the outside. He's flattened out just a bit, though. Might have hyped him up too much. It's Talking Cash and Storm Daddy. Far outside, Bourbon Heist from the depths of nowhere, quickening in with Embrace. Bourbon Heist and Embrace. 
Bourbon Heist, Embrace, Bourbon Heist. Bourbon Heist and Embrace, then Broken Rib. And JP Race checked in fourth. Fractions told the tale there, 21 and three and 44 and one. I like Loyal Company's look through the turn. Pinning his ears, coming with a rally. I hyped him up too much. As soon as I gave him a big shout out, he could tell he was gonna quit running. How about Bourbon Heist, who was last heading into the turn? He comes with a huge run. 116 and 43 one hundreds. 12 Embrace second, two Broken Rib third, one JP Race fourth. Make sure to hold all tickets. Urban Heist with a big, big stretch run. He was last heading into the turn. They set a good clip up front for Bourbon Heist, a four-year-old Bay gelding by Practical Joke out of the elusive quality Mare Elusive one, run by Bourbon Lane Stable. It's a trading double for Ian Wilkes. It's back-to-back -back for Tyler Connor. Winner was bred in Kentucky by Mueller Thoroughbred Stable Limited. Urban Heist getting that elusive third career victory. He had a bunch of runner-up efforts versus only two victories. There's a horse who's made a lot, a lot of money. With only two career victories, now make it three. Three for 23. Urban Heist, the last to first winner. Exact to $112.32, trifecta $141.54, $76 Tyler Connor double, $21.91. 10 cent super, $660.77, dollar super, $6,607.79, 976 pick three, $43 and a couple of pennies. One more race to go in the work week, the Saturday nightcap with a super high five, no carryover this evening. We have three scratches in the nightcap, five, seven, and 13. So one tap, lady on the go, and queen's notice off the also eligible list, five, seven, and 13, all scratched from the nightcap, 22 minutes away at 9.57. And there they go. Eastern Sunrise is showing pace with Silvery Moon and Green Chili. These are the three quickest into stride. Miss Claudette joins the leader line from the far outside. Eastern Sunrise with the rail draw. She's the quickest. Silvery Moon is second. Green Chili is third. Cruz and Lucy's up close. So too is Miss Claudette from the far outside. You prove strides into the sixth position or make it the fifth position. And she's about four or five lengths off the lead. A length or so back to Richie's gal. Then we go to Bella Sky. Rock and Stroll is second last. And Cachesera is the last of all. So they race up the Turfway Park backstretch. And quite a scramble for this top spot. Green Chili, Eastern Sunrise. Also there from the extreme outside is Miss Claudette. And in behind the leading group races Cruz and Lucy inside of a Silvery Moon. You Proof's trying to close in. You Proof trying to gather some momentum. She is racing with Bella Sky. They both close in together. And Rock and Stroll's beginning to hit her best stride as they head into the far turn run. So it's a log jam up front for this top spot. Eastern Sunrise Green Chili. Miss Claudette is there. Here's you, Proof. Pella Sky from the inside is Cruz and Lucy. Rock and Stroll's trying to close in. So too is Richie's gal. Silvery Moon is still in the battle. Eastern Sunrise, Silvery Moon and Green Chili. Eastern Sunrise, Silvery Moon to the far outside. Green Chili splitting them. And along the rail races Cruz and Lucy. But it is still with the lead. Eastern Sunrise and Eastern Sunrise is skipping clear. Eastern Sunrise opening up in deep stretch. And she is the winner. Walter Rodriguez bookends our Saturday guard. It's Eastern Sunrise by two and a half. Cruz and Lucy was second. Silvery Moon checked in third. And fourth place goes to Green Chili. Fifth place for the Super High Five belongs to Richie's Gal. 142 and 8 100s, number one Eastern uh, Sunrise. Is the unofficial winner of our Saturday nightcap, Walter Rodriguez, bookending our program. Four Cruz and Lucy posted second, third place sixth, Silvery Moon, photo fourth and fifth. Make sure to hold all tickets. Entering the winner circle is number one Eastern Sunrise, a two year old chestnut filly by Eastwood. Out of the radar mare, Mashaba by Town & Country Farms Corporation. Christopher Davis is the winning trainer. Walter Rodriguez bookends the Saturday card. The winner was bred in Pennsylvania by Town & Country Farms. They pick four $183.94. 
The pick six carry over into Wednesday's $15,670, 58 cents. Seven, six, one, late pick three, $41. One four exacta from the nightcap for a couple of dollars, one hundred seventy dollars eighty four cents. Trifecta two hundred thirty seven dollars thirty two cents. Six one late double for a buck thirty one dollars thirty eight cents. Ten cent super two hundred ten dollars sixty nine cents. Dollar super twenty one hundred six dollars ninety two cents. Twenty cent pick six three hundred. $70 and a penny, I believe that's the payoff. There's the carryover, the late pick three, $41. Our late pick five, $457.60. Four out of five, $9.30. Super high five carryover into Wednesday, $1,418.89. All right. Get that one payoff with the precise figure. That pick six, $370 and one cent. I think we got it all covered from the nightcap. Once again, a pick six carryover, just a little shy of $16,000 and a super high five carryover in excess of $1,400 when racing resumes on Wednesday. That's it for the live program. That's it for another work week of racing. Still all sorts of great happenings down on the gaming floor check out our new race and sports book we've got a football game this evening with the lions and the broncos all sorts of fun happening down on the gaming floor so stick around enjoy the rest of your saturday evening sure hope you enjoyed the racing we'll be back at it again wednesday with a 555 first post when leaving the track please drive very carefully this has been racing from turfway park racing and gaming we'll see you wednesday good night everyone